Start with the best fine line tape available. 3M brand is excellent. Fine line tape comes in a variety of widths and two types, green and blue. Green is for taping off straight lines and blue is used for curves. Never ever use paper masking tape for taping trim colors. It gives a very fuzzy edge to the paint line. Paper masking tape is handy though for making sure long lines, such as the one for our burst, are straight. Here's a technique for long straight lines, particularly when they cross rib lacing, rivet heads, or screws. One edge of the burst will start here and end here. If a piece of fine line tape were stuck at one end and pulled tight to the other, like this, ensuring the line would be straight, the tape wouldn't lie flat over the bumps created by laces, rivets, and so forth. See how the tape lifts up around protrusions? This would be a huge problem. Paint would blow under every place where the tape isn't stuck and make a real mess. Rather than put the fine line tape down first, pull a piece of paper masking tape on one side of the fine line tape location. See how you can put a lot of tension on the masking tape, keeping it straight. Stick it down and eyeball the line to make sure it is straight. Now, inch by inch, lay a piece of the fine line tape along the edge of the paper masking tape. Do not put tension on the fine line tape. Be sure to press it firmly around lumps. Once it is in place, pull off the paper masking tape. This technique isn't necessary if you're pulling a piece of fine line tape over an area where there are no lumps like screws, rivets, or laces. Over smooth areas, you can put tension right on the fine line tape to keep it straight. Let's look at what to do at the curved areas of the stabilizer. Determine where you want the burst color to end and simply put a piece of blue fine line tape along the edge. Before you paint, be sure to press the areas down where any tapes cross each other. This is an area where paint will blow under if the joint isn't tight. Next, apply masking paper to the areas that won't get painted. Spray some more erythane or polytone, whichever you've selected for your final finish. Pull the trim tapes as soon as the trim paint dries to the touch. It's as simple as that. We've come to the end of our fabric covering video. What you have learned here has given you all the basic knowledge you need to cover your airplane. As we said at the beginning, the purpose of the fabric covering video is to give you the basic skills necessary to do a safe and beautiful job covering your airplane. We hope you have found this an educational as well as entertaining experience. Join us at one of the Sport Air fabric covering workshops if you can. There you will have the opportunity to practice most of the skills seen in this video. Good luck and happy flying!